Now, I don't know if you've noticed this, but nowadays when you're reading networking literature, magazine articles, books, and so forth, it's almost impossible to not locate a reference to virtual local area networks or VLANs. They're recommended for securing your network, they're recommended for managing network bandwidth, and for many other things. And while all of that's good and fine, I think it's important for us to fundamentally understand what a VLAN is, what are the actual features and capabilities that they provide to you, and how are they implemented, so that we really know why we're implementing these things all over our networks. One of the biggest issues that we face in a campus are growing network segments. What this means is that we're starting to get too many people on the same flat layer 2 network and we're going to have to break it up. Well, here's a good example of a single flat layer 2 network which involves several switches, many hosts, and of course some servers as well. Now in this example, what we have is a single broadcast domain and what that's going to mean is that even though we've been able to break up our collision domain, every one of these hosts is going to see every broadcast packet that does get originated from any one of these systems. And that means that if this guy broadcasts and ultimately its destination of the broadcast is this server, every other host is going to see it because the size of this broadcast domain is so large. Well, that's really the reason for utilizing VLANs. It's to break up the current broadcast domain in a very effective manner and being able to do so on a per port basis. See, what VLANs will do is they will provide a good level of segmentation which allows me to limit the size of my broadcast domain. VLANs themselves are incredibly simple components and really their focus is just on segmentation. That's what a VLAN is as a solution for campus networking. And you can see in this example, I've got the same number of hosts, I've got my servers, and I've got the same number of switches. But what I've actually done is, I've broken up this network into two different segments utilizing VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Now the cool thing about VLANs is that they can be as big or as small as you'd like them to be. You just have to decide how big you want your broadcast domain to get. You're able to create VLANs by assigning VLANs on a port by port basis to the switch and you can have as many or few ports on a switch allocated to a VLAN as you would like.